Hello everyone, I am Catechus Gaming, and today we will be continuing Chrono Trigger, the PC version. Last time, we beat up a sun to get a moonstone, turned it into a sunstone again with the help of a billion years, then proceeded to help Marl solve her daddy issues. This episode, we're going to be preparing for the assault on the final dungeon by opening the remaining locked chest and checking in on Lucas' parents. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we continue this adventure. Alright, as you can see here, we're just outside of Guardia Castle in the present era, as we just helped Marl with her family problems. Now, for these locked chests, we're going to start in the Middle Ages, as uh, I was slightly wrong back in Frog's side quest, and the ones that appear in the same location in both the Middle Ages and the present era, we actually want to activate them in the Middle Era. I know, I screwed up. And in screwing up, missed out on some good gear. So what we want to do in Truce Inn is talk to this box here. So we want the item to react to the pendant, but we don't want to remove it. Now it's activated and primed. Now there's the one in the Truce Inn, and then we want to go to Pore's Village Elder's house. Hey, Robo. Is he T-posing? Weird. Okay. Pore Village, Elder's House. There's these two over here. Same thing. Talk to it. Activate it. Do not remove it. Now, if I was smart, we'd be going to the hero's grave, doing the same thing on those three chests, but I screwed that one up. So the last one to do that too is in Guardia Castle. And I just gotta remember where it is. I think it's in the left tower? Yes, okay, here it is. Activate and don't remove. Now that we have this jazz cooking, we got Chef Boy or Chrono cooking up some items. We are going to pop back to the present era. Head over to the left tower. I already forgot what floor it's on. Wait, wait, wait. Regular treasure I missed for an elixir. Nice. There we go. Yep, now we got a red plate. If we didn't activate it, we would have just got a red uh, vest. So now we have two red plates because we stole one from, I think, the Rust Tyranno. And a red vest does the same thing as the red plate, little less defense, and only 50% fire damage reduction. So yeah, we wanted to keep that. Now let's check the uh, true sin. There we go. Blue vest upgraded to the blue plate. And then lastly, pop on down to Pore. To the mayor's manor. for a white plate and a black plate. Yeah, 
yeah, so theoretically in a lot of those fights for those side quests, we could have gotten these early and then, you know, made the fights a lot easier. But honestly, I kind of wanted the challenge. <laughs> we could go in basically immortal, but then it's too easy and it's kind of boring. And I'll put links in the description for the three that we could have gotten from the hero's grave. Alright, on the north side of Guardia Forest, in the present era, there was another chest. However, there's a slight problem. So if we enter from the north and go to the right, you'll see that they actually barricaded off the access because of all the craziness. So we'll get to that in a minute. In the meantime, we're going to head over to our favorite little monster village, Medina check in on our favorite little buds because there's this weird blue triangle that appears in every era but we can actually only access it in the present era so let's do that because this weird blue triangle reacts to the uh, pendant the same way as a sealed chest And it looks like we'll get two things. For this pesky blueberry, we only get one. The seal is broken. I will give you a treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is a protective gear which will guard your life. Think well and choose wisely. 13,000 years was a very long time, Balthazar. I go to you now. Alright, so the weapon is a chrono weapon called the Swallow. On the scale of things, it's similar to slash kinda under uh, the Slasher 2 that we got when we face Slash the second time. The protective item, it used to be called the Safe Cap, but now it's the Guardian Helm. So we're gonna pick that up. Check that one out. Yeah, so it reduces physical damage by a third, which is nice, but most of our enemies use magic, and st honestly, status ailments are the worst thing in this game, so we're going to take that. So there we go. And finally, we're going to actually hike this one. The last place is the Hecarin Cave, believe it or not. Alright, so let's pop through here and lay waste to some weak enemies if we encounter them. All this rushing water, I gotta use the bathroom. No! Huh, doesn't seem to be any enemies. That's cool. Ah, here we go. So this one pops open the barrier ring. What? There's something else in here. What in the world? Also a speed ring. Alright, not the greatest of items, but they're there. Now we just gotta backtrack and get to our ship. Because we still got to deal with that Guardia Forest chest.
So to get the last chest, we're going to want to head to the end of time. Even though they blocked off that portion of the forest, there's still a gate on that side. I'm going to need a cup of coffee, though, because my characters are weak. Okay, so we're going to have to pop over here, and oddly enough, there's two columns that aren't activated because we never actually use them with a party of four, which is frustrating. So we're going to have to go back to the future again. Might as well fly, am I right? We gotta go all the way to the left, to the Bangor Dome, where we first started off after being chased out of the castle. Wait, not... that's Tran Dome. Whoops. Bangor Dome. There we go. And we want to pop inside this gate. There we go. And as you can see, the Bangor Dome column and the Guardia Forest column are up. A lot of work for an item. Perfect. Now we're back on the other side of that barrier where we can pick this up. Really just for a power ring. Now that we have all the present era chests, the future era doors, which we got a while ago. Oh, the ship's not here. I'm dumb. Oh, you actually have to go pick up the ship. No. Yeah, so we already opened these doors on a previous episode. As you see, everything's empty. Like, that's where we got Ayla's sexy, uh, I'm sorry, alluring tank top. So, anywho, to the Middle Ages we go. First stop, Truce Inn. And why do I keep going to this house? Red vest. Since we're here, Guardia Forest. Or speed capsule. Down to Pore Elder's house. With our <laughs> lovely tea posing robo. God, he's so cute. Good old black and white vests.
And then there's one more to get in the the Middle Ages here, and that's over in the Magic Cave. Oh, that running water noise. Just for a magic ring. There we go. All those are completed. Okay, so the last thing on our to-do list is to take Luca and check in on her parents. You know, since in her side quest, we saved her mom from being horribly mutilated by an invention. So let's pop back in on the present era. Zoom me on north. See if we can find a place to park. There we go. Drop in on Luca's house. Hey, Daddy Dearest. Oh, perfect timing! So we obtain Tobin Suit. And another great invention just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. Ultimate defense! And there's more, by the way. Oh, perfect timing. Tobin's Helm. Another great invention just completed. More ultimate defense for my beautiful daughter. And it just keeps coming. Tobin's Vest. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful daughter. Hey, Luca, I've been working on some defensive gear for my favorite daughter. Yep, we know. You gave it to us. So there we go. Check our equipment. See if it's any good. Oh, it's not very high on the list. Tobin's Helm. Good defense and magic defense plus 10. Fun fact, only Luca can wear Tobin's stuff because, you know, daughter. So we'll pop that on her. And Tobin's suit halves fire damage and increases speed, which is good for her. And the vest is somewhere. There it is. Pretty much the same thing, just not as great. There we go. Wow, Robo's got, like, max health. That's bonkers. Alright, with that, this has been part 28 of Chrono Trigger, the PC version. Where we got all the side items, looted all the chests, and prepped for the final dungeon. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we begin our assault on the final dungeon... The Black Omen. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.